Back in the day, if you asked me, I really liked Howard Stern. He was edgy, he took risks, he was original, and I was a fan. But recently, he's fallen off a little bit. He's gotten really political, and I disagree with a lot of things he says. And when I say gotten political, I mean, well, he's bent the knee. And now we have him criticizing Johnny Depp. So if you did like Howard Stern before, well, you might not quite like what he has to say here. Howard Stern calls out Johnny Depp's overacting and accent while testifying against Amber Heard. Let's see what we got. Howard Stern called out Johnny Depp for overacting while Depp testified against Amber Heard during the former couple's defamation trial, which has been live streamed on various platforms since April 11th. Depp is suing Heard for defamation after she alluded to their alleged abusive relationship in an op-ed piece written for the Washington Post. Heard's legal team reportedly tried to block cameras from live streaming the trial, which was approved by Judge Penny. Depp's team did not publicly challenge the decision, and I think that really says a lot. If you're on Amber's side, how can you answer the question, why do they want it blocked, and how come Johnny's team wanted to be transparent? You couldn't answer. We got you on that one. The reason he wanted that on, he wanted it televised because that's what narcissists do, Stern said of Depp while discussing the trial on a Cyrus radio show. Well then, <laughs> wait a minute. If he was guilty, wouldn't he want it not televised? If he was really guilty, and he really felt there was terrible evidence against him that hadn't been seen before, and he was going down, he wouldn't want it televised. They think they can talk their way out of anything. I think Johnny Depp is a huge narcissist, and what I mean by that is he figured, I'll put this on TV, and because I'm so persuasive, and because I'm so smart, I'm such a wonderful guy. Well, that was a mouthful from Howard. And quite honestly, it's irrelevant. Even if Johnny does think those things, which I don't think he does, but even if he does, it's not relevant. Pretty crappy thing to say. What else we got here? I'll play you some clips from the Johnny Depp trial. If he isn't acting, I mean, he's overacting because he's writing his own material as he goes along. Stern continued, you know, I gotta tell you, he's wrong. He shouldn't be putting this on TV in any shape. I'm not totally sure it was Johnny's personal decision to put it on TV, but I'll tell you this. It's not just Johnny who wanted it on TV. It was a lot of people. A lot of people also that support Johnny. In fact, most of us were incredibly excited it was going to be on TV because we want what Amber did to be exposed in front of everybody in real time with no time to play deflection and excuses and things like that. And that's what's happening. Stern agreed with his co-host Robin Quivers that the trial will not save Depp's career. That's what narcissists do. They say, I will charm the pants off America at the trial. No, you won't. This will not go well, Stern said. It's not going to go well for you. It's not going to go well for her. It's not going to go well for anybody. You sound like two battling children. Wow. That was funny, Howard. Battling children. It's just coming off really badly, Stern added. Johnny testified in court for two days last week. Two days. Think about that. Lots of room to embarrass yourself. Two full effing days. First of all, his difficulty in speaking the English language is fantastic, and the accent. First of all, isn't he from, like, the south of the Midwest? Johnny Depp was born in Kentucky. Does that sound like a guy from Kentucky? I'm not exactly sure what a guy from Kentucky sounds like. Some of them have heavy accents, but not everybody does. Some people find the middle ground with their accent. I'm from New York, and I can speak like this if I like, and you'd never know it's from New York. Or I could speak like this and I'm from New York and that's it. And you know, whoa, that guy's from New York. But we can control ourselves with our accents, Howard. Dave Chappelle does it quite often. And he's pretty good at it. I guess Howard just had to talk about here what he talks about, which is media, television, to go on TV or to go live or not to go live because he didn't have a great opinion on this. Seems like he just wanted to take a shot at Johnny Nothing at Amber that I know. I'm sure he has at some point. However, the attention that he's getting is negative towards Johnny, which might be planned because not for nothing, Howard's career's taken a dive too. His YouTube channel isn't even over 2 million subscribers 
and he doesn't get so many views anymore. I think his last video got like 50,000 views, and he was huge. The problem is he signed away his life to Sirius Radio, and they kind of controlled him, and the views and attention and clicks he get has to go through them and a couple of other things he does. But the point is he kind of gave himself a leash when he was free before that. And I guess he's getting older, and he doesn't exactly know how to shock people as much anymore and how to play the right side of being funny and take the right side and succeeding at that with who you make fun of. Or you could just say simply, he might be a little out of touch right now. You guys let me know what you think down below. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that, pop culture, entertainment. If you don't subscribe here and you think about it and you still don't, well, I guess we said, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.